Hello everyone and welcome to week one of the TBL. It is our first team builder here in season three. Now we have our work cut out for us. We don't have a lot of time to build this week. Um, I have done a bunch of these, probably about 20 league battles at this point, And this is definitely the least time I've spent team building and I, I don't want to make excuses, but um, suffice it to say real life happened and I did need to end up making this team uh, relatively quickly to get it done early in the week. So his team, Greninja, Protean, Heatran, Reuniclus, Mimikyu, Serena, Alolan, Ninetales, Gligar, Hitmonlee, Rotom Fan, Malamar, and Mega Mawile. And my team, as you know from the draft analysis, if you watch that, is kind of just something that I threw together from all the Pokemon that I love um, or thought were huge threats. So hopefully he's looking at my team being like, oh my god, they're so scary, and then he plays poorly, and then we just win. That's just kidding. Um, anyway, um, we've got the... Uh, wheezing and everything that was set to level 100 was set for the EVs to not be angry with me, just a heads up. So I will be going through those in a minute. But uh, this thing's gonna have clear smog, toxic spikes, hidden power ground, and will o wisp. Um, hidden power ground, obviously, the uh, IVs needed to be done in a certain way, but this is what it's going to look like 252 HP, 252 speed, calm nature uh, in order to take those special hits a little bit better from things like the Alolan Nine Tails that it resists unless he got a psychic um, or psychic MZ and um, potentially Rotom Fan being the big ones, and Heatran. Um, now, Hidden Power Ground hits the Heatran really, really hard. It doesn't, two, uh, two KOs, doesn't Oko. Um, and then I can set up Toxic Spikes on something else like the Mimikyu or something like that, um, or Will-O-Wisp things. And this thing is really supportive. It's really designed to kind of sit in there. I wanted to put Pain Split on it, but didn't really have a spot in the moveset. Clear Smog is for the Mimikyu. If he tries to try to Swords Dance when he has his disguise up i can get rid of the stat changes and break the disguise all in one which is fantastic um that was really the one thing it was for but it can hit the gligar as well uh, in case he does try to just try to set up with that or the malamar if he brings that so i do have some options with clear smog there this thing is really supportive um i've got to watch out for hitmonlee obviously or gligar going for a defog but um that is what wheezing wants to do next up we have entei has to be shiny because it is the event entei with extreme speeds stomping tantrum sacred fire and will-o-wisp finally in ultra central moon gets a better move than bulldoze for its ground type coverage which is incredible because it actually Oko's heat train with it but the figgy berry will allow it to get all its hp back he's got an incredibly uh, it's got to be adamant nature so we're rocking 252 attack uh 252 speed now interestingly enough 252 speed was required in order to speed tie with a t um jolly him only and outspeed a timid rotom so um, I actually needed that even though I was running it uh, with an adamant nature in order to get that done. Um, I also have 4 HP and interestingly enough I do actually get 75 to 89% from an earth power from a Heatran. So it actually activates my Figgy Berry every time he goes for it if I'm at full health. Now if I do take Stealth Rocks, I do die to it so I have to watch out for that. I don't have quite the bulk. I thought about putting a little bit more on so I could take it after a Stealth Rock but I needed that speed in order to outspeed the Rotom fan, which I really wanted to do. Additionally, I have to watch out with extreme speed for the Tapu Lele that's on my team. Um, Will-O-Wisp is there because Iron Head didn't actually do more to Alolan Ninetales, and it didn't cover anything else really except the Mimikyu, which Sacred Fire did exactly as much to all of those Pokemon. Next up, we have Jolteon. Jolteon is going to be using Volt Switch, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power Ice, and Thunder Wave using the Expert Belt this week. Um, maybe going to try to bluff a Scarf or a Specs or something, um, and... Thunder Wave is used for the Mimikyu, for the Heatran, which doesn't take Toxic Spice, can't be Will-O-Wisp, but I needed some other status for it. Um, could be used on an Unburdened Hitmonlee if I do get a chance to come in on that. So, uh, some options there. Volt Switch, um, obviously for Greninja, and just for general uh, purposes there. And the 196 Timid Nature allows me to outspeed Timid Greninja every time. 252 Special Attack, just to get as much damage off as possible, and the rest got put into HP, just because this thing had some leftover EVs, and I wanted to get general bulk on it. Um, Toga, Toga Demaru, wow, Tapu Lele Tapu Demaru uh, is going to be coming this week, which, uh, like the other, uh, like the Weezing, is marked at level 100, so let me fix that real quick, um, so that you guys can see the EVs as they are supposed to be, or the IVs as they're supposed to be, etc. Um, but we are going to be modding, rocking a tim uh, Modest Nature this week, Max Special Attack, and then 216 Speed, which gets me to that 142. 142 allows me to outspeed um, a couple things on his team that are a little bit lower, um, but mostly anything that isn't Speed Invested Nature is going to be outsped, and additionally, Heatran is the big one that I wanted to make sure I outsped every time. Um, Nature's Madness with Tapunium Z can guarantee me 50-75% to 75 on anything, and nothing on his entire team takes less than 50% from one of my other moves. So Psychic Moonblast obviously resisted by Heatran and Mega Mawile, so I wanted the Hidden Power Ground for both of those. 
and then everything else, either a Psychic or a Moonblast, will do the 50% I need to do, with the exception of potentially Gligar if it is specially defensive, so I did want to put the Tapunium Z to get that 75% on it instead of the 50, um, and then it will die to a Psychic or a Moonblast. So, um, this is what this Toge, uh, I keep telling I want to call it Toge tomorrow. Nope. Tapu Lele is going to be using this week. This thing is supposed to be able to come in and at least pick up one kill. And every time it switches in, if he, if I'm forcing a switch, Nature's Madness into another attack will kill his next thing. Next up, we have Clay Doll holding the Light Clay with Reflect. I had a long back and forth with myself whether I wanted Reflect or Light Screen. Reflect or Light Screen. And I picked Reflect. Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin as well. Um, this is my spinner. It is max defensive, max specially defensive, but a, uh, impish nature just so that I get that little bit of equal bulk there, as you can see. Um, and then for an HP, just for not, why not? I don't have any sort of healing way, healing uh, move on this thing, and no way of recovering. I don't even have leftovers, so do have to bear that in mind that it will be getting chipped down, chipped down, chipped down over the course of this uh, match, especially if he's setting up his own rocks with something like the Heatran or the Gligar, and I have to get rid of them with my Rapid Spin. Um, but I do have my own rocks on this to chip away his team as well. Earthquake, Oko's Heatran, um, and that's why I went with Earthquake over Earth Power. Honestly, is the only reason is that Earthquake gets the Oko, where Earth Power only has a chance to get the Oko, um, and everything else doesn't care. So, yes, this thing gets absolutely hardwalled by Gligar, by Rotom Fan, um, anything in the air, but that does give me a free chance to set up a Reflect and then switch out into something um, to take the hit from the Gligar, which is actually a big problem for my team. My team is extraordinarily weak to ground this week, so I don't want Gligar just throwing out Earthquakes. And lastly, we have Tapu... No, wow, what? Mega Lopunny! Um, with Q-Charm this week, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I chose Female, we'll see if that matters or not this week. Uh, but Power Up Punch, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and Heal Bell. Uh, max Attack, Adamant Nature with 188 speed allows me to outspeed everything on his team with the sole exception of a Timid Greninja, which doesn't threaten me that much. I can take any one hit from it and get off a Power Up Punch on it, um, as long as he is the type that is weak to that. Um, now, Fire Punch is for Mega Mawile, uh, it's for Alola Ninetales, it's for Serena, and Ice Punch is for Gly Gligar, it's for Rotom Fan. Um, and so there's a bunch of options there, and then anything else Power Up Punch can kind of handle. This thing, I uh, really got to be careful. Uh, I don't want to getting burned from a Mimikyu Will-O-Wisp or a stray Rotom Fan Will-O-Wisp or something like that. So I definitely wanted to run the Heal Bell on it. Plus, if anything else does get status, I can get rid of that. Um, I thought about running Baton Pass with the Power Up Punch and put, proving it into Entei. That is something I'm considering for future weeks, but right now I'm not too worried about it. So I think this team should be good to go. I don't 100% know for sure. Uh, it's the, like I said, it's the least amount of team building and team prep I've ever done for a match, but I think this team has potential to just be really scary and threaten my opponent into positions that he doesn't want to be in and then um, over the course of the match wear him down. Now I do have to be wary of my extreme speed and my Togu, uh, oh my gosh, and my Tapu Lele. Um, but I didn't bring any other priority this week just for that reason. Um, in the future, I'm sure I will be incentivized to bring Fake Out and stuff like that and really have to play around my own terrain. But I think Lele getting that Psychic Boost um, is just so big in this format that it's too easy and too good for me not to try to bring um, almost every week probably, but maybe not every week. Anyway, I will get out of you guys' face. I'll see you guys tomorrow with that battle, and I hope you guys are well until then. Take care, everybody.